2020 was a year to remember, especially for Helping Hand for Relief and Development's Middle Eastern office. It's been a year full of accomplishments and milestones, a year that saw the fulfillment of annual goals, the addition of new projects, and rapid response to the coronavirus pandemic. The Orphan Support Program continued to offer its usual programs through all means possible, be it direct contact or via modern technologies. At the beginning of the pandemic, our team distributed emergency food parcels among orphan families. Health support resumed throughout the year, in addition to psychological support through the Winter Club, Summer Club, and Permanent Club. Financial and educational support was also offered. In 2020, 500 orphans were added to the list of supported orphans, bringing the total number of sponsored orphans to 3,600. Our in-kind gifts program had an exceptional response to the COVID-19 crisis by offering two 40-foot medical containers to one of Jordan's biggest hospitals, 38 other containers providing medical supplies, food, clothing items, blankets, school furniture, and toys were distributed in Jordan and Turkey. 31 courses were held within the Skills Development and Livelihood Program during 2020. In response to the COVID-19 pandemic, over 600 items of personal protective equipment were produced. Courses were held online to ensure training continued during lockdowns, while actual courses in person were held when situations and conditions allowed. Graduates were additionally provided with raw materials and sewing machines, while the program also was able to introduce computer maintenance courses. As part of the seasonal program, iftar meals were sent to the homes of beneficiaries in Ramadan. Additionally, the program offered cash gifts for Eid, Udhiyah, and winter clothing in Jordan and Lebanon. Ramadan food parcels were distributed amongst refugees from various nationalities within Jordan and Tunisia. In 2020, the Shelter Relief Program started a maintenance project for the homes of Palestinian refugees. It also kicked off another project to install prefabricated homes for Syrian refugees. As part of this project, 200 prefabricated homes were installed, mostly in Zatri Camp, one of the world's biggest refugee camps. It also started the Orphanage Project. 10 new graduates were trained to work in the charity field by the Youth Empowerment Program, offering unmatched opportunities to serve those in need. Our education support program continued to offer services to Syrian students in Jordan and Lebanon through in-person and online learning in accordance with the situation in the country due to the pandemic. The education support program for undergraduates continued to pay the fees of Syrian refugee students. Three schools were installed in random camps to help eradicate illiteracy amongst children deprived of education. Food parcels were offered to families as part of the food support program to help alleviate the increasing needs triggered by the shutdown seen in some economic sectors and the unfortunate increase in unemployment rates. As part of its achievements, the Water and Sanitation Hygiene Program started a new project to install water filters in the homes of Palestinian refugees in Gaza Camp, Jordan. It also continued to offer drinking water to Syrian refugee families in various camps and installed much-needed bathroom facilities. The Emergency Response Program presented a rapid and coordinated response with competent authorities in Jordan and Lebanon. It offered immediate aid on the heels of floods and coronavirus lockdowns. The program also presented aid to families affected by the Beirut port blast and the fire that was set in one of Lebanon's Syrian refugee camps. Since its establishment in 2013, our MENA office has been a backbone for our main office in the U.S. It started with three programs and nearly 30,000 beneficiaries in Jordan. Today, it offers 10 programs that benefit more than 9 million beneficiaries, 1.6 million of which were added in 2020 alone. We expanded our reach to Jordan, Lebanon, Tunisia, and Turkey. In the end, a huge thanks is required to all of our donors and partners for their financial and moral support to our charity works. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help HHRD fulfill its task of drawing a smile on the faces of refugees and all those in need.